Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yenta. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh held discussions with his French counterpart Florence Pali yesterday. In a tweet, Singh said, India and France have decided to continue working on identified industrial areas and issues of military-to-military cooperation. He has invited French manufacturers to invest in India's defence corridors. The minister said India and France have a lot in common as two of the great democracies of the world and India looks forward to enhance the bilateral relationship even further. COVID-19 recovery rate in the country has reached 77.74%. In all, 72,939 people recovered from coronavirus and were discharged from hospitals yesterday. The health ministry said the total number of recoveries has reached 34,71,783. It said the constant increase in recoveries has ensured that the actual caseload of the country is reduced and currently comprises only 20.58% of the total positive cases. Currently, India's case fatality rate is at 1.68%. A total of 95,735 new cases were reported in the country yesterday. The total number of positive cases has now reached 44,65,863. Presently, the total number of active cases in the country is 9,19,018. In the last 24 hours, 1,172 deaths have been reported, taking the toll to 75,062. So far, over 5 crore 29 lakh tests have been conducted across the country. Now the number of testing labs in the country has gone up to 1,686. Nagaland Board of School Education, NBSE, in collaboration with the National Institute of Electronic and Information Technology, NILIT, Kohima, will be conducting three days training on a faculty development program on development of e-content and delivery system for school teachers. NBSC Chairman Asano Segose has informed all heads of institutions to inform the teachers to register for the training. She said this training will not only help teachers to cope with new challenges but also equip them in the days to come with the usage of technology to enhance their skills in teaching profession. Online registration can be done from 10th of September onwards at the website of Nilit Kohima. The training will be conducted tentatively from 21st of this month. Mugukchun Battalion of Assam Rifles under the aegis of Headquarters Inspector General Assam Rifles North along with Belize representative destroyed a total quantity of 165 cases of Indian made foreign liquor at Tuli Town yesterday. The consignment was destroyed in the presence of the Destruction Committee, SDO Duli Subdivision, SDPO Duli, OC Duli Police Station, representatives from Watson Dillon, Student Union, Ward Union Chairman and Town Council Chairman Duli. Locals expressed their gratitude towards Assam Rifles for their efforts in reaching out to them and working for a noble cause of fighting the menace of illegal IMFL trading. Foreign Secretary Harsh Walton Shringla said India's Northeast is gateway to East and Southeast Asia and is a link between neighborhood first and active policies. Shringla yesterday said a strong, stable and prosperous Northeast is key to building a self-reliant India. Speaking on the impact of neighborhood first and active policies on the Northeast, at the webinar, the Foreign Secretary said, Government has a vision for this region that is captured in the three C's, connectivity, commerce and cultural commonalities. Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Vengaya Naitu yesterday took stock of the entire commit of special arrangements put in place for holding the monsoon session of Parliament summoned from next Monday. A mock session of the House was conducted with him in the chair in the chamber and the four galleries of the house occupied by the staff of the Secretariat as per the seating arrangements already earmarked, keeping in view the social distancing norms. Staff members were also made to sit in and participate from the chamber of the Lok Sabha. A sample voting process was also conducted. NITO advised the senior officials of the Secretariat to ensure that all the guidelines issued by the Ministries of Home and Health have to be followed 
very scrupulously. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.